Okay, so before we start this transmission, I just want to make something clear. Because the audio platform that I use converts stereo to mono, you're not going to really hear the full effect of my example. So what we went ahead and did here was we created a session for you. Go ahead and scan this QR code with your iPhone or your iPad and then send the logic session to yourself so that when you're watching the video, you get a better user experience overall. Now, yes, it is true that this is a logic session and these videos are custom made for logic pro power users, but regardless of which DAW you use, the benefits that you will get from watching this video content will be massive. So I highly suggest you check it out. Okay, let's get ready for this ride. Let's get to the video. How's it going YouTube? Eddie Gray back in it again. We've been covering the Logic user guide and tutorial, so that's taken up most of my time. But I do wanna talk about something today, and that something is what are waveforms? Have you ever found yourself looking at the material that we look at when we look at a DAW and you're wondering what all these lines are, what all these Christmas trees are. And finally, I got to a point where I thought no one ever really talks about this. It's kind of like this underlying current that no one ever really talks about. And I thought, you know what? Let's just address it as simple as it may be to some. I know there are plenty of creatives who just bought a laptop, just got Ableton five years ago, just picked up a guitar three years ago. And so we have to make sure that we give everybody the right knowledge, regardless of their level of experience, regardless if they have traditional training in audio engineering or not, we still have to spread the good word. So it's very important to take the time here to make sure that we're all on the same page when it comes to music production. All right, look, so I have a song here and it goes something like this. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've, I've, I've hidden the rest of the track. So if I hit H, you can see that they're all there. What I wanted to do was create a mock-up of sorts where I panned the clave to the left. It sounds like this. And then on the same token, I panned the congas to the right. And so in effect, we get this. All right, so if we look closely, my good friends, what we see is that there is two sets of information and that's because I fabricated this. And I did this for a reason because I just needed you to, to get the source information and then analyze files on your own. So if we look and turn our heads like this, the information on the top of the screen, namely this stuff up here, is the left channel or your left speaker, or if you're wearing headphones, your left headphone, right? And so that's called the left channel. Now we were able to hear it very clearly because I specifically panned it to one side. Now, again, if we turn our heads and we look at the information at the bottom of this audio track, this waveform here, are the congas. And so that is going to sound like this. So we can hear for a moment just the clave, and then after that the, the congas come in and we're hearing both of these playing out simultaneously. Well, why is this important? Why should we take the time to, to study this? Well, let's say this was something that you were listening to. You drag something in from Splice or Sounds.com or what have you, and all of a sudden you were like, wow, I really wish I could flip this information. Well, you can. If you change your panoramic options from balance to stereo pan, I control click the pan knob and this is how I got this feature set. Now then, we get this. We still haven't flipped it yet, but check it out. So we can see that there are two channels playing at the same time, giving us the stereo image. Now, if I hold command and I click on the panorama knob, check it out, my good friends, we have flipped 
and inverted the channels. Check it out. So again, this is important if you want to be a master of imagery. If you're somebody that really wants to be a queen, king, master of this work, you have to understand and you have to conquer imaging. It's just one of the things that you cannot get around. You can probably pretend and you know fluff with other concepts but this is not one of them so you can see that i bounced the track here and that the channels have in fact swapped so this is what i mean when i tell you that the left channel is on one side and the right is on the other so some other things to think about that not only can we listen to them on separate channels but we can kind of start to blend as well we know that with balance panning, that if I pan all the way to the left, we're just gonna listen to one side of that signal. Check it out. Right, and so this is not necessarily going to be of benefit to us, but it's an option. Let's say you have a sample and, and there's two channels and you just want the stuff on the left. This is one way to access it. Here's the right side. Well, what if I wanted to blend and create a nice blend? Well, I go to stereo panning, and what I'll do is I'll bring the clave from the left side over to the right some. Let's check it out. So you can hear clearly that start off on the left channel and then we made our way kind of over your head, if you will, and then we brought it over to the right channel. And this, my good friends, is how you mix and how you become a better producer is by being a master of imaging. So hey, thank you very much for watching the video. Go ahead and leave some comments. Show me some love, guys. I've been giving it to you straight all of 2020. We're going to do it all of 2021. And look, if you want more content, all you got to do is email support at hfmusicacademy.com. We'll send you a free course on us. As always, go ahead and sub, turn on that bell, and we will catch you on the next video. Cheers.